Hi, my name is Dr. Shelley Jones, and I am a professor here at Central Connecticut State University in New Britain, Connecticut. Um, I'm very happy today to talk about my book, Women Who Count, honoring African-American women mathematicians, especially during this Black History Month. I wrote the book to introduce children to the phenomenal work of 29 African-American women mathematicians. I have a portrait sketch of each of the women in a biography, and I also included activities that I thought children would like to engage in and also to help them to learn. So they're gonna learn about the women and they're gonna learn a little bit of mathematics. I think even though this book is geared to children in grades three to eight, I think anyone would like to read about these women and learn about them. Uh, the book is broken up into four sections called the first, the pioneers, the unhidden figures, and the contemporary mathematicians. The book was inspired by hidden figures and so I've included four of the women from the book, including Dorothy Vaughn and Katherine Johnson and Mary Jackson and Christine Darden. I also included the first three women to earn doctorates in mathematics, including Euphemia Lofton Haynes and Evelyn Boyd Granville and Marjorie Lee Brown. I've included these women because they're inspiring to me and I'm hoping that they will inspire children alike. So I was inspired by hidden figures. After I saw the movie, I began to research the mathematicians. And what I wanted students to see was, I wanted them to see some things about these women's lives as well as their accomplishments. And so in some of the cases, I try to introduce children to the first. For instance, in the contemporary section, we have Talitha Washington. She was the first African-American to earn a PhD at UConn, and this was just in 2001. So even now, I want students to know that they could be the first at something. So whatever it is that you wanna do in your life, whether you're a male or a female, you can do it. And math is a way to do that. So I love all of the stories in the book, but I'll tell you about a few of the women in the book, including um, the first African-American to receive a PhD in math, and her name is Euphem Euphemia Lofton Haynes. And she was born um, in Washington, D.C. and went to Smith College. And back in those days, uh, it was still segregated. So actually, blacks were not allowed in most of the colleges, but Smith College did um, not only allow, but wanted black women to attend Smith College. And so the second African-American, um, Evelyn Boyd Granville, also attended Smith College. And one of the things I like about Dr. Uh, Granville is she said, what do you what is it that you like about being an african-american woman mathematician and she said she likes it because she wants people to know that we have brains too meaning black women and she also she received her uh, doctorate from yale university in new haven connecticut and being from connecticut that was exciting to me i actually got to introduce dr granville at the National Association of Mathematicians Lifetime Achievement Award that she received um, at the joint meeting. So that was something uh, very special to me because although I had read about her and learned about her accomplishments, it was even better meeting her in person and just talking to her at the age of 94 years old. Um, another of the mathematicians that I really like to tell you about is grandmother and a granddaughter uh, that are both featured in my book. Dr. Etta Faulkner had a long time career at Spelman College and Spelman is my um, alma mater. So that was very exciting to me. And Dr. Faulkner was very interested in getting other black women into the STEM field. Well, her granddaughter, Dr. Shelby Wilson, used to teach at Morehouse College, which is also a historically black college, but her grandmother and granddaughter it featured in the same book as being mathematicians. I just thought that was really interesting. And Dr. Uh, Shelby Wilson was very happy that I featured her grandmother, not only on the cover of my book, because I was very excited about her, but also um, as one of the featured mathematicians in my book. Uh, teachers, this is a resource that you can use as well. You can use it in your classroom during Black History Month, during Women History Month, and any time of the academic year because 
you are able to connect the mathematics to mathematics that you're doing in your classroom. For instance, I have tessellations, symmetry, probability, statistics, I have functions. And so whatever that vocabulary is that you're working with your students on, it's something that you can bring up as you learn about the women and as you do the math activities. So this is something that students can use at home as well in after school programs. It's a very versatile book. It has word searches in it. It has where students are solving equations to figure out an answer. And it's something that students could also talk about with their parents. So this book is just wide open for use at home or at school. So I just want to say that I have many 29 phenomenal women featured in the book and I also encourage students to learn more about other women and about other people of color that are mathematicians or that are in the STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics.